Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena, and today we'll try to answer the age-old question, which is a smartphone with the best camera? Well, actually, we can tell you right away that the best camera on a smartphone right now is the... Okay, it is probably a good idea to start at the beginning. This is a camera comparison between the iPhone 6S Plus, the Google Nexus 6P, the Galaxy Note 5, the LG G4, the Moto X Pure Edition, and the HTC One A9. On paper, all of these phones are looking very promising with their camera specs. But to find the best among them, we will take a look at several pictures, starting with this indoor scene. Don't mind the mess. So here is a picture captured with the iPhone 6S Plus. We are treated to mostly pleasant looking colors and details look nice as well. Overall, there is nothing major to complain about. Here is a close-up. But the image from the Nexus 6P is the one we like best. It should be easy to see why, again, colors are mostly accurate and details have been captured really well. Here is a closer look. Now comes a surprise. The photo from the Galaxy Note 5 just doesn't look very good. Details aren't great and there is some burning going on around the highlight areas. We are mostly satisfied with the photo from the LG G4. The good part is that it has really great details, but the bad part is that some highlights are overexposed. This is the image from the Moto X, which isn't very inspiring either. It looks okay at a glance, but the details are very soft despite the high resolution of the camera. And here we have the image from the HTC One A9. Right away, you can probably notice that the white balance is off. As a result, the image looks colder. And there is a bit too much contrast in the scene. That's why dark areas are too dark. Here we have the six images side by side at 100% zoom. This is the next scene we will comment on. Once again, the iPhone 6 Plus is a solid performer with good details and nice colors in its image. Here's a close-up. The Google Nexus 6P has captured the same scene in great detail, but we do think that its image needs a little bit more exposure. Also, the colors aren't exactly accurate. This is the image from the Galaxy Note 5. Overall, it looks very good in terms of colors and details, although we see that the Note 5 adds more sharpness to the photo compared to other phones. The LG G4 is also providing us with a great looking image. It has pleasing colors and the details look really good once you zoom in. Here is a close-up. But the photo from the Moto X is the one we like best. Overall, the image looks great. The best thing about it is how detailed it is if you take a close look. Also, colors look very natural. The HTC One A9 is trailing behind again. At a glance, the image looks ok, but if you take a close look, you will notice that details aren't as clear as they are in images from the other phones. Also, colors are somewhat inaccurate with a slight greenish tone to them. Let's move on to this next scene taken during sunset. In this case, we would say that the iPhone 6 Plus managed to take the best photo, mostly because the colors in it look really great. Details are also captured very well. The Google Nexus 6P, on the other hand, cannot really impress us with its image. Details are mostly ok, but the colors don't look very natural. Here is a close look. This is the image from the Galaxy Note 5, and we have to say that it looks pretty good. Although there is still relatively more sharpening going on. Colors in the image are accurate and mostly pleasing. The LG G4 provides us with an image that's very good looking as a whole. When we zoom in, we see a good level of details. Here is the photo from the Moto X. Overall, it looks fine, but honestly, we were expecting better. 
It is strange how some parts of the image are bloody, but others are very detailed. And finally, here is the HTC One A9. Its image is decent overall, with satisfactory color reproduction and a good amount of details, but we think that most other phones did a better job at capturing this scene. Now let's see how these six phones perform at night. This is the photo from the iPhone 6s Plus. Right away, we are seeing some good details and very low noise across the whole frame. The image is exposed pretty well and looks very natural as a whole. But the Nexus 6P did even better in this scene. It is surprising to see how much detail its camera has captured despite the low light situation. The Galaxy Note 5 could have done a bit better than this. Overall, the image looks fine, but it could use a bit more exposure, especially in the areas on the right. This next image is from the LG G4 and it's one of the best in the bunch. It is the brightest overall. Some highlights have suffered because of that, but the photo as a whole looks very pleasing. Here we have the image from the Moto X. It is usable, it looks okay, but fine details are seriously missing. The same can be said about the photo from the HTC One A9. It is presentable, but the camera has captured less details than its competitors. This next set of photos was taken in the dark from a distance of about 4 feet away. The image from the iPhone 6s Plus looks ok, but we were expecting better. Details look fine, but the colors are washed out. The Nexus 6P cannot impress us either. Its image could have used more exposure and colors are quite inaccurate. The Galaxy Note 5, on the other hand, has managed to take a pretty decent photo. Colors look fine and there's a good amount of details. The image is not perfect, but it is the most usable of all the photos of this scene. The LG G4 might throw colors out of balance when its flash is used, and that's clear to see in its photo. The greenish tone in the image just doesn't look nice. But details have been preserved really well. This is the image from the Moto X. It looks pretty nice overall with its warm, pleasing colors. But when we zoom in a bit, we can easily see that fine details is mostly missing. The HTC One A9 actually did pretty well in this scene. It stands out with its even lighting, which is something that other phones could not achieve. Too bad that details do not look fine from up close, but overall, the image is a pretty good one. When we started this comparison, we were hoping to get a clear winner at the end. We were expecting that one or maybe two of these phones would stand above the rest with their pictures. However, looking at these and other photo samples, we have to say that all of these phones take pretty good photos. Still, we have to make it clear that some of these phones take better photos than others in certain situations. For example, the Moto X takes outstanding daytime photos but usually struggles in low light as the camera cannot pick up details too well. The iPhone 6 Plus, on the other hand, has a camera that's a lot more balanced in performance. It takes decent low light photos and great daytime ones with colors that are only sometimes a bit inaccurate. And the Google Nexus 6P has, without a doubt, the best camera ever put on a Nexus smartphone. It could be better, of course, for example, we are not entirely happy with the flash and low light performance is a mixed bag. But overall, the 6P takes really good photos. The Galaxy Note 5 also has a great camera, just like all recent high-end Samsung phones. You just point, shoot and most of the time you'll end up with a pleasing photo, even in low light and even if you have to use the flash. We have taken a lot of great photos with the LG G4. 
One of the more noticeable issues with the camera is that colors are too saturated at times. But usually, phones look very good, even in low light. And then there is the HTC One A9. Looking at our photo samples, we have to say that we were expecting more in terms of detail quality and color accuracy. Overall, the images look fine, but when compared to those from other phones, the One A9 is a step behind. Ok, we hope you liked our camera comparison. Subscribe to our channel if you want to never miss a video, and if you'd like to take a look at more photo samples from this comparison, just visit our website phonearena.com.